Hi, this is Samiksha with the Calsoft team and for today's podcast, we have with us Manraj Singh. Manraj is a senior QA engineer at Calsoft. He works primarily on flash-based arrays and today's topic of discussion is quality assurance for flash-based arrays. Manraj, it is a pleasure to have you here. Hi, Samiksha. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here too. So you have been working on flash array testing project that include performance benchmarking for flash based arrays. Let's dive deeper into this. What is flash translation layer? Uh, as we know that flash memory is widely adopted in embedded applications. Mm -hmm. It has several strong points including its non volatility fast access speed, shock resistance and low power consumption. Okay. However, due to its hardware characteristics, specifically its erase before write feature, as erase are also slow, and cause wear of the flash media, gradually moving it closer to its end of life. It requires a software layer known as flash translation layer, which will ensure that newly programmed pages are evenly distributed across all available flash so that it wear evenly. Okay, understood. So then how do you perform flash translation layer testing and in case of abrupt reboot, is there any data backup? Well, there are different parameters for testing flash translation layer. You can test different F fl uh, flash based features like deduplication, compression, garbage collection, discard, unmap, align, unalign, hash collision, etc. Okay. You can also test uh, flash based uh, flash array for testing data integrity, means to check whether there is no data corruption mm -hmm. issue using various tools like Medusa, FIO, DT, bad blocks, SQLism, etc. And test load, stress, scalability using tools like SQLism, IOMeter, etc. Okay. Boundary conditions like disk fill, min max, limits of learns or FTL, device size, etc. is tested using disk fill, LVM or automation. Interesting. Anything else? Uh, yes, we use different I.O. tools such as IOMeter, FIO for testing performance of flash based array. You can also use automation script for white box or synthetic test and for memory leaks for flash based array. Okay. Error injection and handling using error injection code for code coverage. So in situation like abrupt reboot power cycle, uh, NVRAM and NVDIM is tested for data backup. So data integrity of NVDIM layer is tested through various tools like FIO, DD, etc. And NVDIM performance is also tested here. Okay. Thanks for that. Tell us a little more about garbage, garbage collection and why is it important to have garbage collection for SSDs? So garbage collection, it's very interesting feature. Okay. So garbage collection logic executes in parallel with system IO. And it is responsible for merging partial filled write blocks to make free space on disk. Okay. It does this by relocating partially filled write blocks and write them in combined write blocks. As I.O. are written randomly on disk, mm -hmm. there may be a cases where in write blocks are partially filled. Here GC plays an important role for collecting partially filled data and combine them into write blocks by filling all those partial data from write blocks allowing user to get more write blocks to write. Okay. We test garbage collection functionality at FTL and SSD layer with automation and dev error injection and performance impact for uh, performance impact because of garbage collection is tested using automation or synthetic tools like FIO by changing and configuring, configuring number of threads for fine tuning of the system. Okay. Uh, basically garbage collection impact is tested under heavy load. Hmm. And how do you carry out performance benchmarking for flash based arrays? So uh, for performance benchmarking can be done using various methods depending upon requirement. Okay. So there are uh, some categories for performance benchmarking. Mm -hmm. So like performance benchmarking is done using synthetic tools like FIO, IOMeter, VDBench, B-Test, enterprise application tools like MarkLogic, TPC, SPC. Coming to TPCC, TPCH, TPCE are the tools used for performance benchmarking for workloads like OLTP, composite OLAP, big data, etc. What else? So uh, there are SPC1, SPC1C, SPC2E are tools used for performance benchmarking for workloads like random IO okay. and large scale sequential movement of data. Mm -hmm. 
also it generate database load in form of large database queries video on demand as workload for performance benchmarking so there are tools like hammerdb aura are used for database load testing okay and benchmarking for oracle sql server and postgres sql great so we use automation usage for these tools with jenkins require a bus button push of performance benchmarking against certain build which generate an xls with comparative result and report the same via email automation is totally configurable based on requirement hmm pretty interesting okay now let's take a different route what kind of certifications are performed on flash based arrays are these the only certifications for storage arrays so mainly we cover all important certification here okay so starting with vmware and vi certification mm -hmm. that is certifying certifying all supported vi commands for flash based array functional feature wise namely ats write same unmap xcopy uh here testing performance for flash based with xcopy and ats as compared to xcopy off and scsi 2 okay so testing storage vmotion clone snapshot of vm with ats xcopy on and off for data integrity and performance so then coming to testing deduplication with vi on and off xcopy and dedupe on resized mirror stripe and snapshot to learn okay okay so there is a bootstrap test so in which thousands of vms using vdi and vai on and off is also tested mm -hmm. beside vmware certification microsoft certification is also performed like whql hck wlk certification for all flash based array then come uh, then running a uh, lebai scsi test suite for iscsi certification of array for various scsi scsi commands like uh, read 16 read 10 write 16 write 10 etc mm -hmm. so manraj what kind of applications are really flash oriented and where flash can help in the performance so we test various application with flash based okay like oracle single instance oracle rack oracle asm then uh, microsoft application like mscs and mm -hmm. hyper v cluster with flash based array then vmware application esxi cluster and its feature with flash based array okay then database to sys base and other database applications then there are erp crm application like sap etc okay. testing vdi application like citrix and, and vmware with flash based for different hypervisor like hyper v vmware kvm etc mm -hmm. so testing ms sql cluster with flash based arrays also executed here okay also you could perform customer centric environment testing before shipping the product mm -hmm. so in this like simulating and testing in environment like vdi hyper v mses esxi cluster so these all tests can be carried out and also installing and configuring cert with different hardware to maximize the connection as per as per industry like having multiple fc iscsi switches mpi enabled at initiator multiple blades in closer as initiator etc okay so then what about automation so automation framework here is mainly used for regression sanity testing boundary conditions mm -hmm. r2f test error injection and handling code coverage okay. then white box and unit testing then developer sanity and also performance test automation with tools like fio iometer also for vdi automations is also mm -hmm. covered so then does this mean you use continuous integration yes we do okay. we are using continuous integration majorly for regression sanity white box code coverage we also use continuous integration for bug filing and provisioning where okay. we carry out activities like automate automated deployment of operating system installation of bare metal and vm mm -hmm. pixie booting and cone support power control firmware and software upgrade orchestration management of tscp tftp dns then basically easy management of in entire infrastructure okay what kind of high availability solutions are available for flash based arrays and how do they differ from stand alone boxes so stand alone boxes doesn't have high availability okay and for testing high availability for flash based array we have active active controller active passive controller which include cluster feature like dlm osf2 etc 
and also test at functional level like deduplication, mirroring, high availability, recovery, etc. are carried out. Right. This has been pretty insightful and gives us a good overview. Thanks for sparing the time, Manraj, to talk to us. It has been a pleasure. Yeah, it has been a pleasure to be here. To all our listeners, thanks for tuning in. If you have any queries or would like to interact with our experts or any feedback, please write to us at smm at calsoftinc.com. S as in Sierra, M as in Mike, M as in Mike at calsoftinc.com. See you at our next podcast.